Conan Exiles Isle of Sipta introduces a massive new world to Conan Exiles, filled with secrets, challenges, and treasure. Explore the mysterious vaults of the Elder Races. Battle for control over powerful surges of sorcery. Survive the vicious storm raging around the tower. And face the monstrous spider god, Zath. We have worked closely with the community to improve and expand the island since the launch of Early Access. And with full launch approaching, there is a lot to discover in Conan Exile's Isle of Sipta. It was important for us to engage with the community throughout the early access development period. Exiles has a varied audience of players, including RPers, PVPers, PVEers, and modders that play the game their own way. We vetted changes to the main pain points that people were having, so we wanted to add proven gameplay elements from the Exiled lands, so it's a more familiar experience, but also the same different experience, you know, conflict-based, that we originally wanted with the Isle of Sipta. We added NPC camps to really bring the island alive. One of the main feedback points from our community is that they missed the dynamic elements of the camps from the exiled lands. Players can now gather thralls through the many new NPC camps that we've added. Stygian mercenaries have settled on the eastern coast in order to restore the colony left behind by their ancestors. Black Corsairs have landed on the western beaches, intent on thwarting Stygian expansion. They are ready to wage war on any who oppose them. Nobody knows where the accursed came from, or why they dwell in the shadow of the Tower of Sipta. What was the price of the pact that brought them a truce with the creatures of the Outer Void? The rescue mechanic is a new way the players can gain access to the follower system. You'll need to track down a jailer, knock him out, steal a key from him, and then go to a cage where there's a captured thrall. When you unlock them and release them, they instantly become your companion. We wanted to make the new camps exciting and engaging. So in addition to rescuing prisoners and capturing thralls, players will be able to unearth buried treasure, swim out and explore the flotsam, and discover treasures in the ocean, and capture and raise new unique puppies. We really tried to give the player some more land, more landmass, more space. We have three distinctive areas in this uh, new part of the map. We have one very large open area which is very reminiscent of the savannah or some of the early areas in the exile lands. Located in the center of the, the savannah, we have a massive capital which is the remains of a fantastic and ancient civilization. What remains there though actively is these three pools. These can be activated by collecting small statues that are placed and scattered all through the island. Place them into the pool and they will trigger dangerous creatures, exciting encounters. Each one will be different. Each one will be unique. In the central area of the map, we have a very large floodplain. These areas will encourage the player to build in a certain way. And it will also encourage people to siege these buildings. Then we have a volcanic area. The, the player will have to travel through it very cautiously. There are dangers around every corner. At the base of the Tower of Sipta, the players will find the Void Forge. First, they need to gather fragments of power to gain access to this. But once they do, they will find a beautiful magical inner chamber. The main features for the Isle of Zipta are the Surge, the Vaults, and the Storm. We've made them less dependent on each other so the players can play the game the way they want and engage in the activities that they find most enjoyable. The Surges are magical portals that open up and rip people from around Hyboria into the Isle of Zipta. 
We've made them a lot more accessible so players can engage with them, spending less resources and activating them whenever they want. The Storm is a magical vortex that's centered on the tower in the Isle of Sipta. We've made it easier for players to live, build, and ride their mounts in the Maelstrom. The vaults are structures that the elder races and inhabitants of the Isle built to hide from the storm. We've changed them so that they are now high-level content that you can go into with your friends, battle epic bosses, and get new unique rewards and buffs. We're excited to add a new religion to the Isle of Sipta. Players can worship the terrifying spider god Zat and summon and control its avatar to attack their enemies with corrosive venom and defend themselves by shedding spider brood on those that oppose them. One of my favorite systems from the exiled lands is the purge. When players build their base, the native inhabitants from the lands rise up and attack them. We've introduced this system to the Isle of Sipta. We've also introduced a new system where players can prevent or provoke the purges from happening. And depending on where you build, the new NPC factions, the elder races from the vaults, will rise up and attack your base. The purges provide another way for players to be able to gather thralls on the Isle of Sipta. Exiles has a varied audience of players. During early access, we've made improvements based on feedback from each of these unique communities. I want to thank everybody that has joined us in making the Isle of Sipta what it is today.